entering the facility. No, Kevin, I said that the hair ties fell to the, the bottom of the fuel rod pool. You have to keep swimming down. Oh. Yellow. Oh, hello, Jeff Capcom, president of Capcom. You want me to what? Well, how tall is she? Dang. Okay, I guess we gotta science it. Oh, and thanks for sponsoring today's video, by the way. Oh, <laughs> all right, love you too. See you at home. Don't you dare come up without those hair ties, Kevin. I swear! Apparently, a tall vampire mommy has been, let's say, agitating a certain corner of the internet. Her name is Lady Dimitrescu, a fabulous looking villain from the upcoming game Resident Evil Village. The most realistic game in the series, Resident Evil Village takes place several years after Resident Evil 7 and gives gamers the survival horror experience they expect, while adding new weapons, puzzles, and monsters. You can get your hands on it on May 7th. But today, Capcom has tasked me and the rest of us here at the facility with sciencing a tall vampire mommy meme. What would happen if, if she stepped on your face? I blame DeviantArt for even really making this a question. Well, obviously, the meme part of the tall lady meme is her tallness. She is 9 feet 6 inches tall, according to the game's developers. If this is true, this would make her a colossal humanoid, the tallest person to ever live, if you include her hat and high heels. But what would really happen if she stepped on you? Well, in this case, her height wouldn't be as important as her mass. And I also blame Tumblr for this. Get me Jeff Tumblr on the phone. I want to talk to him. Unlike Lady Dimitrescu's height, we do not have a canonical mass, so we are going to have to estimate it indirectly. We're going to do that using a concept called Body Mass Index, or BMI. BMI is just a way to relate a general picture of health to a person's height and a person's mass. It's not a perfect representation of health, but nothing is. There are two problems, however, with this indirect approach. The first is that Lady D's height, over nine and a half feet tall, there is no BMI chart that captures this, so we have to extrapolate, and she's a vampire. So that might not work at all. The second problem is that we have to eyeball her BMI to work backwards and get her mass. And I've been told it's very rude to just estimate someone's body mass index and then tell it to their face. However, we're going to proceed anyway. I'm going to assume that Lady D's BMI is somewhere towards the tail end of a healthy body weight, somewhere between 24 and 26 for a BMI. Now, if we plug in our height to equations health and medicine has been using for decades, then we get a mass value for Lady D of 205 kilograms, 450 pounds. Now, this is a lot to be stepped on with, to be sure, but it would feel much more intense than this for one simple fact. Lady D is wearing high heels. All right, put them on. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna put them on. But you can't laugh, and I blame the entire concept of fan art for this. You're going to love this. All right, we are gonna assume that if Vampire Mommy is to step on you, she is gonna be wearing her high heels, as you can see here. That's important because what's gonna be doing the pressing on your face is actually pressure, which is a function of force and area. The force in question will be Vampire Mommy's weight, her mass multiplied by the acceleration due to gravity, and the area in question will be the cross-sectional area of a classic stiletto heel, which I have measured for myself to be about 40 square millimeters. If we plug in all these numbers, we get a pressure value of nearly 50 million pascals of pressure. This is over half of what it is at the bottom of the ocean, at the deepest part of the ocean. This is all on your face, mind you. But what it would actually do to your face at that point is harder to determine. So graceful. The force that a step can provide is not fully resolved by a person's weight. No, the force, because it depends on mass times acceleration, will also depend on how quickly the stepping motion happens, and more force with the same area is going to mean more pressure. How much weight will be behind Lady Dimitrescu's 
leg and her foot and her heel when she does the stepping on your pretty, pretty face. How fast do her feet move? I have no idea. But what we can do is estimate a simple case. Let's just say that all of her body weight will be behind her foot when she does the stepping and that because she's a fast vampire mommy, that her feet can move at 3G or three times the acceleration due to Earth's gravity. If we put this into our same calculation, we get a value for pressure that is now about more than half of what it would take to puncture structural steel. You can see with values like these, we're now in the Resident Evil Village of doing some serious damage with these heels to just about anything. Puncturing skin, possibly fracturing bone based on the ultimate tensile strength of bone. Not exactly what fan artists the world over have been envisioning. In fact, I know it's not what they're envisioning because I cannot show you that on camera. But why be so theoretical here? Why don't we make a mommy foot of our own, for real, and see what kind of stepping it can get up to? Wow, this all sounds so weird. I, <laughs> the internet was a mistake. But I'm gonna do it for you anyway. The immense pressure multiplying effect of a high heel like this has been known about for some time. Given the average mass of a person underneath this heel point right here exists more pressure than is under the heel of a full-grown African elephant. It's no surprise then that many places throughout history have had so-called high heel policies that prohibited their use from museums that didn't want their marble floors damaged to people's homes with wooden floors. And in 1963, it was estimated by a building maintenance magazine that the damage caused by high heel stiletto fashion shoes was in the range of half a billion dollars in the United States. So apparently, it's not a not, a, not as big of a problem now because it's not as fashionable. I don't, what I'm saying is Lady D would probably destroy your floors, but that's likely the least of your worries. <laughs> so. This is the experimental setup for my Lady Dimitrescu's high heel. I'm going to be putting literally hundreds of pounds on this bar here, so you can see around me. I'm gonna be putting hundreds of pounds on this bar, and all of that weight is gonna be pressing down on this bolt here, which I've affixed to the bottom of this bar. This bolt is the same diameter as a high heel shoe, so we should get the exact same amount of pressure that we previously calculated. Now, I can hear what you say, but Cal, why not use an actual high heel? Something like this. Well, first of all, this is one of my good high heels, and I don't wanna break it. And second of all, if Lady Dimitrescu was an actual person, she would need some sort of reinforced high heel if she's nearly 500 pounds. And to lift that nearly 500 pounds, I have this. This is a pulley with a seven to one mechanical advantage. Strong though I may be, I cannot lift 500 pounds like some big mommy vampire. So, <laughs> so I have this uh, workout rig, which can support well over 500 pounds, and I have this pulley system, which has a seven to one mechanical advantage. That means every time that this rope goes around one of these pulleys, it is reducing the amount of force that I have to actually pull on the weights with. Seven to one means that for every Newton of force I pull on it with, it's effectively putting seven Newtons of force on the weights, which means I don't have to lift anywhere near 500 pounds, just one seven of 500 pounds. And what will we be stepping on, you ask? Well, first of all, I'm gonna be fulfilling the internet's deepest, darkest DeviantArt desires and stepping on your boy's face here. This is made out of ballistics gel from Ballistics Dummy Lab, who shipped this to me as quick as humanly possible, and they're great, I use a lot of their stuff. So I'm gonna see if a high heel with 500 pounds behind it, like Lady Dimitres, can go right through analog flesh. Spoiler alert, I'm gonna go ahead and bet that it can. But Kyle, I hear you saying, that's not exactly 460 pounds. Well, this is the best I can do on short notice. You don't have pulleys that can haul all this stuff. I'm working with a rig that I already had and Olympic plates like this come in certain widths, so I can't fit all the weight I could possibly fit on just this bar. But don't worry, it's gonna be, it's gonna tell us more than you need to know about high heels and stepping on simps. 
Now that we're all loaded up, I'm going to pull this. You'll see the mechanical advantage at work, and we'll put our little test subject, who wants to be stepped on so bad by Vamp Mommy, underneath, and we'll see what happens. You know what's gonna happen. Testing Vampire Mommy stepping right on your face in three, two, one. <laughs> oh no! Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! Straight into his flesh. So you can see with that much pressure on his head, it, it, it goes through simulated flesh like it's not even there. Three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh, it's gruesome. Okay, so with a nearly accurately weighted, accurate diameter or surface area high heel, you can see that it treats ballistics gel, ballistics gelatin, uh, analog flesh like it's not even there. Therefore, we can conclude <laughs> that if Vampire Mommy stepped on you, it would straight up kill you. Once again, I know what you're probably thinking. Kyle, why don't you try something harder? It's not just flesh you'd be stepping on. Well, why don't we try something a little bit harder like your coconuts? Uh, meta metaphorically, it's a coconut. Vampire Mommy stepping on your coconuts in three, two, one. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. 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 My coconut! My precious coconut! Okay, so for that test, I removed the stiletto high heel because I also wanted to see what it'd be like for Vampire Mommy just to step on you with her bare feet, which is, I think, what a lot of you want. And it cracked a coconut wide open. You can imagine, just if you've ever held a coconut, you know how hard these things are. You have to smash them on rocks or use knives. So what would actually happen if Lady Dimitrescu stepped on your face as you're fantasizing about? Well, the pressure calculations kind of just do themselves. You have a very small surface area. At the bottom of a stiletto, you have a lot of mass above it. When you combine the two, you get pressure values that would go through your face like it wasn't even there, which is maybe what some of you want? Anyway, you can find out what really happens to you as the character when you pick up Resident Evil Village on May 7th. Until next time. What am I gonna do with this? Now exiting the facility. Thank you so much to Capcom for sponsoring today's video. If you want to know more about Resident Evil Village, check the description below. And thank you so much to the very nerdy staff at the facility for their direct and substantial support in the creation of this here video. Today especially, I want to recognize research assistant Skull Power X and visiting scholar Tactical Bagels. Ugh, nano machines. If you want to join the facility, if you want to come to my office draped in a silky white lab coat if you want to see behind the scenes videos, if you want to get videos early, if you want to talk with me every day on Discord, if you want to get private live streams with yours truly. Not like that. You can go to patreon.com slash Kyle Hill and join the facility today. And hey, if you support us just enough, get your name on Aria here each and every week. As you can see, there's literally hundreds and hundreds of you, so I don't know how I'm going to pass the time. I filmed this before I do all any of the experiments. So I'm gonna react, uh, yeah, wasn't that crazy how that heel could... Draw me, draw fan art of me in the lady outfit. Somebody do it. Thanks for watching. Make it suitable for work. <laughs>